Okay, today I wanted to discuss uh, some of the basics of reality and how that relates to Zero Point. I know I did an intro to Zero Point before, it was just a very basic intro. Uh, this is kind of a little more akin to chapter one. Uh, basically what consciousness is, it's not in the mind. Consciousness is the aether that is everything. It is the sea, the cosmic ocean that everything exists within and uh, it is beyond uh, space and time and it is awareness that creates the experience of space and time your level of awareness of your omni-consciousness or the omni-consciousness which is all is what creates your experience your movement uh, and thus time and just to go into really quick the mechanisms of zero point there's pretty much three stages there is the actual zero point, which is the infinite field, and we call it zero point because uh, when you make the torsion field, which is like a donut, a torus, that central location, um, you could say a black hole or the wormhole, the central location uh, of the torus is where you can then uh, notice the zero point. It's when all the electromagnetic fields and scalar waves and everything are harmonized in such a way that you have a silent point in the center that you can actually access that zero point stillness. And from that zero point stillness, once you, you get to that level, you then can harness scalar waves. Scalar waves are birthed birthed from the zero point energy field and I like to refer to them as kind of the reins uh, which zero point uses to whip the electromagnetic field into shape and create reality so and then with that of course the electromagnetic uh, field being the third uh, aspect of manifesting reality in zero point so you have zero point the zero point uh, space which is the silent uh, part at your center of unconditional love where the mind is silent and then from that you gain access to control of the scalar uh, waves which are intention and it is those scalar waves of intention which then go out and affect the electromagnetic field thus bending time and space so those are the three levels um, that are involved with the zero point and um, the zero point device that I will be teaching people how to make thanks to crystal ooch uh, it has a crystal inside and it has no less than uh, eight layers of copper which are divided into hemispheres and they are configured in a certain shape uh, it also has human female hair uh, and it's female because the female energy is more mothering and less dominant um, and of course hair being um, a representation and it actually is a fractal antenna a, re a representation of our own DNA which is also a fractal antenna uh, which is why hair creates a rainbow uh, effect when it's in the sun. Um, and then in addition to that, it has cones inside which direct the energy in a specific <clears throat> in a specific shape in order to make the toroid of energy in the nas uh, nested fractal layers. Uh, this is the cube version. The cube version is um, it's a little bit tougher of a teacher, I guess you could say. Strict, it pushes you a little bit harder. Um, the uh, sphere device that I make has more, it's more of a sense of humor, it has more um, of a motherly feel to it. Um, and then there's the disc shape device that I make, uh, which is really good for uh, people who do a lot of healing for others. And that one has kind of a blend between the cube and the sphere, uh, I've noticed. The sphere, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the cube is basically it's like for those that want to push themselves as hard as they can um and it can be challenging at times like i said um they do like i said they have a, a personality uh you know and it does speak to you which is one of the lower ways that it communicates actually because it, it's the deepest communication is in a wordless feeling like a state of being that you share with the device when you're meditating with cosmic uh, consciousness with your highest being and then afterwards it kind of unfolds like a plant would unfold into the various ways of communication such as um, you know concepts and ideas and thoughts 
and words and then you know audible communication written word and so forth and in the other video that um, I did when I where I released that I was going to be teaching how to make these um, in January and mentioned that um, you have to also share the information that you're given through your zero point uh, because if you don't basically what's happening is you're being filled with all of this information and if you're not sharing it you're blocking the flow and you're going to create a stagnation and this because this information is flow itself it is infinite unconditional love it is pure flow it's not resistance it doesn't have resistance so if you try to add resistance to this information you're going to create a situation where pressure is building up and building up and building up and something's going to have to give and chances are it's going to be you that gives not the cosmos so um which ultimately is the same thing, but you know, you're surrendering to your highest self. Um, so you do want to share the information. That's one thing that, you know, uh, these gurus and all that, they want to give you tidbits and they don't want to freely share. And they want to say you have to do years and years and years of this and that and blah, blah, blah. It's not like that. You just need to reach your zero point and it's simple and it occurs in the now. If you can do it for a second, you can do it. And just hold on to that and keep expanding that one second. Time is relative. If you are feeling negative and feelings of separation, disconnected, you're going to be experiencing, experiencing a dragging out of time, which is based on a, a reduction or a slowing down of your life force energy, of your modulation of zero point. So in order to be the most efficient, you want to have... You want to have free flowing zero point. You want to have free flowing modulation of consciousness of zero point. Uh, zero point being omni consciousness. That's what it is. Uh, you know, I've spoken to people uh, who live up here in Big Bear who run uh, or work at the Solar Observatory who actually used to work at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And uh, he's very familiar with um, zero point energy and how it, it does affect the consciousness. It's not just something that can power cars and power houses. That is the smallest of what it can do. That is, you know, just. I mean, that'll, that is what will get you killed right now if you start making it do that. But it's really one of the least amazing things that it does. Um, the truth is you keep using your zero point and you won't need a car. You won't need to build a house. You will be the force field that is your home. That is your vehicle of travel. And it can travel through space and time and dimensions and all that. So, you know, focusing on how they can power things physical objects is kind of the lower end of the totem pole they can change the very essence of who you think you are into the truth that is really deep within you and that is infinite throughout the cosmos and completely connected everything is completely connected there are no two things that are disconnected that don't have some sort of connection somewhere that is my specialty i am a dot connector um you know there's no two things that don't connect in some way and that's where the magic is and that's why they've had so much trouble with science because they forget to connect them especially and the most important connection is to connect all the sciences with psychology you have to connect quantum physics with psychology because that's the basis of consciousness. that's where it is it's, it's the down at the quantum energetic level that's where you know we can see free will choices being made when it comes to photons and you know what color they're going to choose to express so with this knowledge about the basic of zero point the three um basic steps being zero point itself the center and then the scalar waves which you can harness at zero point and those scalar waves which then mo uh, move and change the electromagnetic field so those are, it's really simple. I mean, people try to make it so complicated. You know, people hear, they hear the word quantum phys physics and they're like, oh my God. But the fact of the matter is when you relate it to yourself and to um, psychology and manifestation, it's really easy. I mean, I mean, when we think about it, you know, you ask the question, what is consciousness? How, to, how does consciousness work? Well, it's mo it has to modulate. Consciousness is something that has to be modulated. And when you turn to physics and geometry, you can see exactly how the flow of energy, the flow of consciousness uh, 
you know, is most effectively modulated. It's, it's simple. And that's another thing that using zero point, it teaches you exactly how the technology works in real time. You can see it. You can actually, during your meditations, see the spiraling energy. And you can see the colors based on, you know, where you, your, what energy chakra areas need work within you. <clears throat> I mean, it's just, it's a device that is so amazing. It, it will change your life. I mean, you can, you will go from, you know, being completely unaware to realizing the connections and everything with the cosmos at the moment that you need it and you don't have to store it in here it's not about you know holding all these memories in and oh i can't remember this and i can't remember that the information is infinite it's out there it exists within the ether that is consciousness itself all you need to do is use your third eye use your pineal gland which is in a, a piezoelectric pulsing locator and the information will come to you. If you can ask the question, it means the answer is there. Within that question is the answer. Because you can ask it, it is. You know, and so then, the, then it becomes, do you want to focus on that becoming so and manifesting in your life? Or do you want to say no thanks and focus on a different path? You know, because it's not, it's not about true and false. It's not about, you know, disinformation and information. All of it is information. Even so-called disinformation is information which is even in some ways more useful because you can see the real truth plus you can see exactly where in awareness that person is coming from and what steps are going to be necessary for that person to move into the higher state of unity. So within a lie is hidden levels of truth, many levels of truth. And so when you start to utilize that, you know, then you don't have to be stuck on these debates of true or false, or that's good information or bad information or whatever. Debating that is basically, you know, it's like saying that there's, uh, there are frequencies within the universe which are useless and pointless and they just exist to, for no, no good reason. You know, that's silly. It's silly. Every frequency exists out there for a reason. And it, you will not understand that reason fully until you allow all of the energies unconditionally into your zero point with a completely silent mind. And it is then when, when you are allow yourself to immerse yourself in that state that reality itself will show you the truth. You, don't, you won't have to be told by someone else. I won't have to sit here on a video and tell you how reality is because you will experience it real time in your own life and affect it in real time. You will see that things are not just solid. You can say something and bam, in a moment, it can happen. And it has happened to my husband and I, you know, and it teaches you to watch what you say, you know, because you don't want to uh, say anything that's going to go out and affect somebody's life in a negative way. I mean, you really have to be careful and... It, every single word carries a frequency that is either moving closer to unity or further away into the illusion of separation. So, uh, you know, be careful with those words and thoughts as well. And, uh, but of course, as we know, it's the emotions inside uh, that are even stronger than, you know, those thoughts. And it's the unconditional love and zero point which can even balance out the emotions. So realize the levels of your power. Realize where they're sourced. And my husband's home from work, yay. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Look forward to learning how to make a zero point energy modulator uh, in January with me. Um, just a heads up. For your core, the center of the device, you're going to need a clear quartz crystal um, or, you know, another crystal uh, or a diamond. Uh, I don't recommend you using a ruby, and we'll talk about that later. Um, you're going to need some copper, and I use the copper flashing uh, for rooftops, and it has a kind of a sticky back on one side that you can remove, um, and hot glue. Uh, which contains silicone in it and those are and a female hair that has not been cut but naturally has fallen you know just falling out from brushing and all that 
Uh, so those are the three things that you want to get for the device and I'll you know be repeating that and I'll be showing you in a video and all that again it's just a couple days for Christmas everything's ah, frantic so, so uh, yes I'm very expressive I know make all kinds of faces but uh, yeah I'll be making that uh, get your uh, ingredients ready um, the crystal is best if it was given to you or if it's one that you've had for a while and it's really good if you wear it on yourself for 33 days um, before you put it on the device and resonate it with you. And actually before the 33 days that you wear it, you wanna give it a good cleanse out in the sun for uh, 24 to 72 hours. So I just wanna say I love you guys and I can't wait to share the Zero Point Energy device with you. I also do remote healings um they work really great i need to do a video on how to accept that energy but go ahead and contact me on facebook it's christy that's christ with a y T G T I E T J E on facebook and just hit me up with a personal message and let me know that you'd like a zero point energy meditation and uh, we can go ahead and get you started with that and you, you can receive it in your own home and feel it so i love you very much Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Merry Christ Mass, Mass Christ Consciousness to everyone. And um, I hope your New Year's resolution includes some unconditional love for the planet and actually the cosmos because uh, they're all getting involved now. <laughs> I love you guys. Peace.